Hello everyone, today we have a, a spectating match. Uh, damn, I wish I had recorded this live. That's one hell of a match. Um, we're starting off here. It's a nice little early invade, that's what the Thrush called for. Let's ping an SQ. You can see we get several flashes. We get Are you not intrigued? Kill on Kha'Zix. Minions have spawned. We put a ward down there and Vayne shows her herself. And yeah, this goes pretty well. Get that nice hook. We get hit in, we get kill. We've got Nora. Taking a little bit up there. Yanni's just doing Yanni things. He's playing really badly. Okay, so we don't regard some of the bushes. So we got a lot of them there. Why is it grabbing top lane so much? There's actually interesting stuff going on down here. Um, right now we're doing the boring farming stuff in this part, but it, it, it go, it's very, very interesting, very fast. She's not in any, in any position to stay in lane, but she's recalling. I was hoping I could get in there, but now nah, she's gonna recall before I get a chance. You can see, currently have nothing on us. If you haven't realized it yet, Thrash is going AD. Again, Thrush is just absolutely fucking solid with these hooks. I don't know how he does it. He just doesn't miss.
Here we are recalling, we have a shitload of money. Pretty sure Thresh dies here. Oh no, he doesn't. It's a surprise. He's playing. Oh. Oh, no, he does die. I, s I know exactly what this is. <laughs> Things like what, what the fuck? I can already tell the vein is salty as all hell. See, so, yeah, the scoreboard is already five to one. Like this, this game is over. Mundo is doing okay, but he's not gonna for forever. I mean, two people who are way too fed to lose at this point, so. Kha'Zix is really just loving to overextend, though. Alright, here we go. Why would you go in on me? I'm fed as fuck. I think I might even already have my enemy. No, I don't. Okay, good. Good enough reason, I guess. In the end, I get that kill. And this guy just cannot help but overextend. Yeah, I get the kill. I don't think he wins this. Yeah, no. Dragon kills him. He doesn't go for the drag though, he's way too long. You can see our top player is starting to win these trades too. Something quite interesting. So we see Yi recalling. I go for an ulti. Do we hit it? Do we hit it? I honestly don't remember. Oh, we just barely miss. Hmm. What's going on? Not the top lane. Just the usual top lane or stuff. So, we've got Thresh coming up here. We've got our jungler too. Someone here is very overextended. But we don't really do anything with this. Like, I mean, Thresh must have had his Q on cooldown. Uh, here we go. He starts to come. I miss all of my shit. And that's a kill for our jungler. I still don't have my immunity, but I'm still way ahead of them. It does not matter. They don't have any armor. All they had to do was get armor and I would have done nothing. They would have won. But nope. That was their big mistake. I know she's all alone, but we know she is. We've got a fucking humongous wave.
don't really have any way to punish me without me murdering them at this point, so I can just spam my E as much as I want because I've got mono unit and they've got no armor. I do not know what she was expecting. I'm not <laughs> an auto attack ADC, I can just kill you. Uh, that's what makes it so much fun. Get that chatter on the way. Let's see if we got 176.80. It's only like going up. I got something going on down the left side again. Oh, something's going on down mid. Okay, so we've got something going on mid here by those things. Nice little game here. Doesn't quite turn out as they wanted. I, mean, I ping missing and then ping a warning. No doubt her god's gonna come up. He doesn't. He gets a kill. We go on on this bitch. And we get something. So we've, already, I've only healed 11 from my conqueror, but that doesn't really matter when I'm dealing so much damage. We have 250 on Monoclon. Well. This guy is not getting away. I think he actually barely gets away. Oh yeah, he does. I have to let him go because Yi starts chasing. But because Yi chased and we can force him out, we just decided now to his blue buff. There's literally nothing he can do to stop me. If he goes in, he dies instantly. I'm way too fucking fed. I've got Sheen and Monomina, that means I'm dealing about 400 damage per Q. Almost 500 even, should be like 476. You can see her health just gets deleted. Yeah. Yeah, I deal about 300 damage to her. Thanks to her armor. Which is 40 damage. Does she have any defensive items? Not really, no. He's just got lane sustain. I've got it better than her, though. I was getting some lag there, and I missed that Q. So... As you can see, top lane made a comeback. We ended up getting the first turret. Thrash misses a Q here, but it doesn't really matter. Something was going on mid for a moment. But they must have had vision.
we don't end up sticking around in bot side for very long. Strong Nares when he's in Megan R. He ends up dying here though, and Mundo is just too tanky. Although, thankfully, enough, Mundo is not in a position to actually take the card. Uh, she's very far forward though, and support from her support. I can see he tries to do weak things, I'm just gonna fuck him up. I think Thresh dies here, yeah. Here he gives me a one and he tells me not to, not to throw my zero deaths, but I'm, I am being very careful. I can take a couple hits. I've got Lillian sustain up to the ass. As you can see, Nora gets a kill on Nora. Going, uh, just doing a lot of things. Kozlik gets his boob off. We start, I start trying to get out of the kill again. Thrush comes back, and this, this is, mmm, this is tasty. Oh, this would be if he goes in here. Mm, he's still dumb. He ended up getting his flash for free. I sent an ulti trying to get someone. I had no clue where they was. I'm just looking at the bushes and stuff. You can see just how uncoordinated the team is compared to us. Yeah. If he had done the game earlier, when I only had like the two kills, he probably could have changed the tides of the match, but he did it way too late. He waited until I had an item, and that was his, that was his fault. You can't let Nazro get his mom unit. If you do that, he's already set. If he gets a kill and gets that tier early, and then you wait until he gets the mom unit after, like holy fuck, you're just letting him get his power spike for free. He doesn't have any damage just from getting tier, so I'm like, easiest fucking kill. There's a lot going on up there. I'm not really in a position to do anything right now though. I suppose I could've queued uh, Mundo to try to get a kill. What was more important was getting the others off of ever off of Gnar. As you can see, I'm just chunking him. He still doesn't have armor, I don't think. Oh well, no, he does, but he only has the Tabby. If he had some magic resi too, it would probably have been fine, but... As you can see, they kind of... I'm kind of resisting, though. I'm kind of resisting their jungle. 
we own everything at this point. No matter what they do, we've just won. Actually, this match is already almost over. No doubt they'll FF soon. That Thresh was going 80, by the way. <laughs> I think I already mentioned that. He's got that Storm Razor. He is still just kind of struggling to catch up one seven. Holy shit. Even Fade is doing better. I really doesn't even feel like a threat. Ugh. He still feels like a threat, though. I just can't see the answer. I deal all the damage here. Fucking got insane burst and sustain. And that's it. That's GG. Why did I move over there? I don't remember that. But yeah. Thank you all for watching.